Hello everyone We're on a mission To keep the paper flipping We got to get a house Before we start wood gripping It's Ben Walking through the woods again Going on a mission To keep the papers flipping Ben on the trails again, about to eat a bag of dicks, and that ain't no trick. Dude, I'm gonna eat the biggest bag of dicks this side of the Mississippi. You know what I'm saying, bro? About to eat a ridiculously huge bag of dicks. Yeah, Shabisky, you see how nice it is here in the spring? You gotta come out here. There's see, it looks like I'm out in the woods, but I'm just like in the area. I'm here, I'll I'll flip it. Look, it's beautiful. It's still kind of chilly. Slender Man is my bitch. He's so slender. He can't intimidate anybody. Yeah, that's real Shabisky. That's why he has a wrench. Fake Shabisky wouldn't have a wrench. No, Shabisky, I don't like to... Uh, capture wild animals and put them in cages so I, I prefer not to do that actually in some cases it might even be illegal depending on the animal because there are a lot of protected species out here I'm getting there I'll eat dick eventually a big fat bag of it I'm working on it I'm getting there. I gotta, I gotta earn it. If I'm gonna eat dicks, I gotta earn it. I gotta put the miles in. You know what I'm saying, bro? Trekking through the woods to eat some dicks. Through the woods. It was it. Over the river and through the woods to eat some dicks we go. <laughs> We're about to step into the actual woods in a second here. So now I got two of these vapes. This is the newer version. It's a little larger, the Stealth Vape version two. Cause I found some of my cartridges wouldn't fit into my smaller one. So I have this newer one. I'll show you guys woods now. Look at that. Yeah. This is a cedar tree. These are all like mostly cedar trees. The way this tree is growing over here is crazy. How it's, uh, it grew like in a loop and then just kind of went around that way and then up this way. It's almost like a roller coaster track.
No, I am not doing the show alone. It's easier to just go back and look. First of all, I'm not doing the show right now. This is not the show. If you're familiar with the show, then you wouldn't be uh, confused because the show isn't normally walking in the woods. It's like reacting to videos. And no, you can go back. Kirby tree. You, you can go back and see last night I wasn't alone. Uh, I mean, like, it's it, that's a silly question. And I see people asking it, and it's always accounts that have no profile picture and, like, weird names. It's like... It's ridiculous. At least do better research. Oh, look at this. This is some sort of uh, watershed. I don't know who Richard Burnish is, but maybe he's here. I don't know. Maybe he's following me. Richard, are you here? Are you following me, Richard? Richard, look, listen, Richard. Do your research. Well, I mean, if you want to, the videos are literally there for you to watch. So if you want to know, if someone was actually curious about whether or not I do the show alone, you could just go look and see that I don't. It's people, it's like concern trolling. It's someone who's like trying to concern troll. Cool. Good for you. If you've been a fan of our show since 2014, you should do your research. That's all I'm saying. Shabisky, click on the account that said he's been a fan of the show since 2014 and tell me when that account was made. What year? Was it made it before, on or before 2014? <laughs> Yeah, the big redwoods are in California. They're in California, so we have big trees here too. Just not as big as those. <laughs> it was made in 2012. Great psyop, John. Great psyop. <laughs> I'm walking, I'm walking along the path. I'm walking, I'm walking along the path. YouTube, YouTube doesn't deserve you, John. What can I say? You've been watching since so long. Who would have known? You've been watching so long. Yeah, I'm pretty sure YouTube started in 2006. Pretty sure. At least 2007. 2006 was the year I moved to Albuquerque and I really started watching it. I uh, I bought a laptop that year, like my first ever laptop that I ever owned. And uh, I didn't have a TV and back then you needed like cable and shit. So... Uh, I started watching because I was poor back then. If you wanted like actual entertainment, you had to have cable or whatever. I was a, one of the early subscribers to Netflix's streaming platform. And back then they, they had mostly older movies that were made in like the 60, 50, 60, 70s. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So, 
I have the camera on me right now because this kind of ruins the illusion that I'm in the wilderness because I'm about to cross the street at a crosswalk. But that's just the nature of the area that I'm in. It's like an urban area surrounded by uh, forests and that kind of shit. Here we go. Yeah, uh, in there's a lot of really prominent MMA fighters that come out of Albuquerque because they have the Jackson MMA dojo there. So I would see a lot of prominent MMA fighters like in my neighborhood. They would all like be jogging or whatever. It's a real forest, but it's like in a in a residential area. I put the mask back on for a couple episodes or like for one episode a few months ago. It's so uncomfortable. And then my face gets sweaty and then I get like zits and stuff. I don't want that. Yeah, when you get a sweaty face and there's like a piece of plastic holding the sweat against your face, you'll get zits pretty bad. I don't know how a real luchador can wrestle. And uh, like my mask really limited my visibility and you think visibility would be very important in a pro wrestling match. Yeah, wearing a mask for like a five hour stream, which we had done in the past, not worth it. Here, I'll show you. Look, it's beautiful. <coughs> it's very cool today, like low, low 50s, probably like 52 today. The last time I was doing a stream like this, it was about 70. The weather here can be, oh, there we go. There's a stream right now. Thank you though. Let me make sure my speaker is on. It turns itself off, which is stupid. There we go. CG high? No. This is like a, a farm over here. Yeah, it's, uh, there's a lot of uh, farmland and stuff out here, but I'm only a 10 to 15 minute drive from downtown Seattle right now. So if you drive west from here, you'll be in like a very thick, dense urban area. This is Western Washington. Please like the stream and please subscribe, by the way, if you just showed up. I'm trying to get the sub numbers on this channel back up. Yeah, I'm near Issaquah, north of Issaquah. Northwest of Issaquah.
I like cities better. I'm more of a city person. Way more of a city person. This is not Marymore Park, but yeah, that's not too far from here. Definitely been there quite a few times. Sasquatch would know better than to drink Starbucks. That's all I can say. Right, yeah, we're going this way. Are you Milo, the, the dog that ruined Jessica's phone? <laughs> She's going to sue you, dog. She's going to take a dog to court. It's funny the way she was like, he didn't even offer to buy me a new phone. It's like, you had your phone on a tripod and you called his dog over and his dog ran into it because the dog doesn't know what a tripod or a phone is or whatever. It was just excited. Yeah. And then all of a sudden she like, because she was all like, look at this doggy. She was all excited and got the dog excited. And then it knocked over her phone. It's like, sorry, that's on you. It wasn't like he like ordered his dog to like go knock over her fucking phone. It's so dumb. <laughs> it's, it, it makes me sad because she's, me and her are close to the same age. We probably would have went to high school around the same time. Because from what I understand, she's, uh, Allegedly 39. And I'm going to be 43 pretty soon here. So if that's true, then we would have went to high school at the same time. And it's just crazy how... It's crazy how, uh, you know, when I became a young adult, I wanted freedom... So I did what I needed to do to get the fuck out of my parents' house and I never moved back. You know? I don't understand the, uh, I just, imagine spending your retirement taking care of your 40 year old kid. I never understood that. That would be terrible. I am not a Gemini, I'm a Taurus. So I guess the one right before hers, right? Because my birthday is in a couple weeks. I'm a Taurus. Yeah, I don't even live, my parents live like 2,000 miles away from me. It was like, as soon as I had a job to move out on my own, I moved out on my own at 20. I'm almost 43. I moved out at 20. Uh, and then at 25, I moved to Albuquerque and I was there for like almost a decade. No family out there. And then I moved back to Ohio for a couple years. That's where Drunken Peasants started in Columbus. And then, and ever since 2016, I've been here in Western Washington. Yeah, I'm a, I was born in Ohio. 
born in Ohio, lived there from birth to, like I started in Toledo. I grew up, I was born and grew up in Toledo. And then when I was like 21, I moved to Bowling Green for a little while, which is a col like a small town with a big university in it, south of there. And then, then I moved to Albuquerque, and then I moved to Columbus, Ohio, which is the only city in Ohio that's like actually has shit going on. Uh, I guess Cincinnati is kind of good too. I don't like Cleveland, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put them over. Um, Columbus is a really nice city, though. It used to be the drizzling shits. And then they kind of had a renaissance there. I do not like Cleveland at all. The places between Toledo and Cleveland are nice. Like, you know, the, the little lakeside towns and that kind of stuff. But I, I do not like Cleveland. I am not a fan. Cleveland, they used to say we're not Detroit. They're getting close. In some ways, Detroit has gotten better. And Cleveland has gotten progressively worse. So. Now I'm walking through a parking lot. Your town? What is it? Like Dublin? I used to live in Dublin. Cincinnati's fine. I've had some good times. Hey, you know what? If you try to push Cincinnati chili in other parts of the country, people will not like it. First of all, there are people who don't want cinnamon in chili. See, it's weird. I was just in the woods and now here I am. Like, there's... <laughs> it's like... Is Albuquerque better than Columbus? <sighs> Depends on what you mean by better. They're very different. By size, by culture, by, you know, the, the, the nature that surrounds it. Like, if you're in Columbus and you leave the city, there's just farmland. There's, like, Amish country. There's, you know... It's boring. There's no mountains. There's... There's nothing really cool. Um, Columbus is a bigger city, though. A way bigger city than Albuquerque. Columbus is about the size of San Francisco. Like, if you look at the population of San Francisco... If you look at the population of San... Yes, Albuquerque, New Mexico is way smaller than Columbus, Ohio. Hello, doggy. There's a doggy running around. Hopefully it doesn't run into the street. Yeah, they caught the dog. It was running around near a busy street. I was getting kind of worried. Crossing the street really quick here. Roswell is just a small desert town you know, down near the Mexico border where they blew up some, kind of close where they blew, near to where they blew up some nukes. Like the first nukes to ever be detonated. So, I don't know. White Sands is really cool. I mean, there's really cool natural things, but the largest city, New Mexico probably only has, like when I lived there, there was only like two million people that lived there. There might be three now, but... New Mexico is a very sparsely populated state. Um, Columbus, population-wise, is about the size of San Francisco. And the metro area is like around 2 million. A lot more goes on in Columbus. Like Columbus, there's more stuff going on in Columbus. Uh, weather, Albuquerque has way better weather. Albuquerque has mountains and beautiful desert the, the desert can be beautiful i hate it when people 
don't realize how beautiful the desert could be. Yeah, go look at the top, like, 20 most populated cities in America. Pretty sure Columbus is in the top 10, if not the top 15. Uh, Albuquerque is not hot. Like, if you mean, like, hot, like, temperature-wise. Um, Albuquerque is at the same elevation as Denver, Colorado. But it's further south. But not by much. Like, a six-hour drive. So, no, I've seen more snow when I lived in Albuquerque than here in, uh, the Seattle area. It's not heat, though, <laughs> trust me. Like, the summers can be hot. Like, the winters can be cold and snowy. There, there, there's not much humidity here, either, believe it or not. But, yeah, um... It's, it, take about what you think about the climate of Albuquerque and throw it out, because... I was like, oh shit, I'm never, I don't even need a coat. I'm moving to Albuquerque. Maybe I could just wear shorts all year. No. Albuquerque is a mile, Albuquerque is a mile above sea level. Um, it gets very cold there in the winter. It's not Arizona. Arizona is at a much lower elevation. In fact, here's kind of a weird fact. Santa Fe, New Mexico is the highest elevation of any city, like major city in the entire country. Santa Fe is like drastically higher up than Denver. It's smaller than Denver, but... When you drive from Albuquerque to Santa Fe, it's like uphill the whole time. It's the Rockies. Uh, Seattle during the winter is kind of like, um, like, uh, British weather, kind of. But then in the summer, it dries up. All the grass turns brown, and we we go like three to four months without rain here. And it makes sense because central Washington's climate is very desert-like. So it's kind of like with climate change kind of expanding over here. I've been to Santa Fe. I've never been to Taos house is like really close to the border of Colorado but yeah that whole area is like prime ski territory yeah that was another thing like when I tell my family back in Ohio yes yeah, skiing is huge in New Mexico my family's like picturing people skiing in the desert they don't realize that it's it's such this crazy high elevation it took me a while to adjust to the elevation there I felt really tired all the time kind of cloudy headed because of the elevation there hey I <laughs> have you guys seen how long I've been walking you got it if you want to eat a bag of dicks you got to earn it That's something everyone should understand. I don't think I was ever on Queen Cobra's stream, or maybe I don't understand the question. How many miles? <sighs> maybe about three or four? I don't know. I haven't been keeping track. Gotta work for the dicks. 
Gotta work hard for the dicks. She works hard for the dicks. So hard for the dicks. Uh, I don't think she's going to forget who we are. Uh, unbanned? I don't think so. I don't even think it was her that banned us. I think it was one of her weird mods that banned us. But now she's seen videos of us goofing on her. So she's going to act like she did it. And that, you know. Dude, I'm not going to eat four dicks. Are you kidding me? What do you think? I want to stuff myself full of dicks? Do you think these are micro dicks or do you think these are macro dicks? What is this madness? A man can only take so many dicks, some more than others. But my dick threshold is so low, I'm a newbie to dicks. Only been trying out dicks for like the last decade. Some people have been doing dicks. They've been tasting dicks their entire lives. Traveling. What? Some people grew up with dicks in their face everywhere they looked. I, I'm a newbie to dicks. I only started dabbling in dicks. Yeah, yeah, I've been to England. I know, there's no mountains there. There's like hilly areas. There's no mountains. And then in Scotland, they've got things. Oh shit, my connection's getting kind of weird here. I'm waiting to cross the street. Just waiting for the light to change so I don't get run over. Dabbling, yeah, I've been dabbling in dicks. I'm a newbie to dicks. I am not a dick connoisseur. Well, I should say a connoisseur of dicks. Not quite, but I'm getting there. The more dicks I taste, the more of a connoisseur I become. Are loved. You are loved. I'm not an expert. I'm not even a connoisseur. I'm a layman. But I, I, I'm starting to learn the ins and outs of dicks. What more do you want from me, people? I shouldn't have crossed the street back there. I just realized the sidewalk ends over here. I'll probably just walk in the shoulder lane for, oh no, no, they want me to cross here. Damn it. Oh, they have special dicks, they have deluxe dicks. I'm pressing the fucking thing across the street and people are still going. I hate it when people do that shit. Nothing. No, I'm still here. Yeah. 
I'm back. God. Ba I like bear hands. B E A R hands. Way better. Sometimes I can't tell, and you guys have to tell me. I know I'm going through a spotty area right now. Yeah, I'm out of focus because the this, this signal is kind of spotty here. It'll get better. Am I here? Is it working? Let's see if I... Uh... It's okay. I connected to some Wi-Fi around me. Okay. Yeah, I'm on Wi-Fi. Like, there's Wi-Fi, uh, like, networks that are randomly around here. So... Where am I at now? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Ground control to major bird. Provided by the local uh, internet carrier. And if you have a subscription, you can use them. It's very helpful to me. It's very hilly here and there's a lot of tall trees. So it kind of interrupts the signal. Look. We're getting to a place where it's gonna be better. That is amazing, because when I was a kid, I wouldn't have even have imagined like a global wireless network of any kind. Like the internet, and then like also if you, you know, you, you just talk about like the idea of a, of like a, a wireless phone that you could take anywhere with you. Yeah, that was unheard of. That was some start. Actually, the first like flip phone I ever saw, my girlfriend in high school had. And it was the brand of it was called StarTac. And they named that because it reminded them of the the flip communicators that the characters on Star Trek had. Oh man, I'm all about burning the calories. I woke up this morning and did an hour of cardio already. Do it every day. Unless I feel sick or something or I got injured. Sunny. Gonna push the button. Wait, 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 wait. 
a bag of dicks. Crossing the street, crossing the street. We are having fun crossing the street. Do you like my song? <laughs> I wonder where the original saying, like, eat a bag of dicks came from. Like, not in relation to the restaurant, but... Sing more? I'm trying not to get run over right now. There's cars everywhere. I'm walking through a parking lot. <laughs> Whew, the sun's getting kind of hot, even though it's only like 52 right now. And I've been walking for a little while. Let's see if, is there a wife? Oh, dude, the signal is so good here. Wonder what will happen when I go inside. Yeah, it's so nice out today. Just not warm, just sunny, cool and sunny. This time of year here, you can, like it got down to 30 last night. So. We're kind of going through the last cool period of the year. Oh, I was wondering when this pizza place would open. They're open now. That's cool. I gotta do my uh, usual here.
to go for pee guys sometimes you just gotta go How are we doing on battery? Yeah, it's doing fine. God, I had to pee so bad. And they gotta be playing Hootie and the Blowfish. It's not. It is a little windy right here, where I am right now. I hate the music, because there's nothing I can do about it. Couple pounds. It'll play out loud now. Hi. I'll have a deluxe and a fry. No, that's it. All right. Here's an experiment. I'm trying to give a couple of pounds to Ben. Did it not work? Oh, yeah. I don't think it's There we go. All right. Thank you. Here's my bag of dicks. Bag of dicks. Bag of dicks. It is windy. Like, it got windy all of a sudden. It was not windy for most of my walk here.
and I'm not picky, so I just, uh, it is like OG McDonald's, it is, it's like the same format, only there are no car hops these days or whatever, I don't have a mic, it's my phone, my phone has mics in it, thank you for the production critique though, <laughs> It doesn't, oh, what is it called? Like the sandwich? They have their special relish on the deluxe. It's like a relish sauce that I thought I wouldn't like and then I ate it and I'm like, eh, you know, I do kind of like this. So, find a place to sit. Um, yeah, I'll do it right here. Mm. All right, let's situate ourselves here. There we go. It's like a mayo relish sauce. So here's the bag. Yeah. That voice to text played out loud earlier. So here's the burger. It's not a big burger. There it is right there. Yeah, played it while I was in line. Dick's is great drunk people food. A car hop is a car park waitress, yeah. They don't do that at Dick's, but at, in the old fast food days, they used to do that. They would be on roller skates. Help this boy stole me out of the truck. <laughs> You guys. Thank you. Here are the fries. They only have one size of fry. Very simple. That's part of their speed. Like, here's a fry. Um, right there. Very good. I got a little more than I normally would too. Good amount. You saw how fast I walked right up and got some.
I should have got a drink, but I didn't. I might go to a convenience store and get a drink instead. A big convenience store drink is way cheaper than a fountain drink. I don't know, are there? I'm not looking around for them. I'm eating fries, dude. I'm gonna eat this shit. This is the only food I've eaten all day. Yeah, Dix is open until like 3 a.m. So the after bar crowd does go there a lot. The fries are very good. I'm not sure what kind of oil they fry them in. I'm not salty. I'm happy. I'm gonna get more food, but I have to walk more. So that was just a, that was a burger and a fry. The mall sounds, yeah. This mall has a really cool food court. All kinds of interesting food. Like here's a, here's a Thai place right here. And then this is like Hawaiian style food. They got like Hawaiian sandwiches and that kind of stuff. Chinese. Ooh, this is a, a boba place right here. I am a big uh, boba fan, but it fills me up a lot because of those big tapioca balls. Um... Here's like Putin Jobby style Indian. Here's like a burger place. Italian. Dumplings. We also got some pizza over here. This place is really good, Piroshki. Some like. They got some sushi and some Korean barbecue right here. Yeah, I really like this place. There's a giant chess set. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. I'm about to hit the road again. Oh.
About to hit the road again. Where are we going now? I did use two hands. Yes, I used two hands. Yes, I can see the chat. I don't, I couldn't name one song from Black Dahlia Murder. Like, I I know that's a band's name, but couldn't tell you. Couldn't name one song. So I don't know if I like them or not. Not really the genre that I would be into, but, you know, I've given bands a try that I was like, oh, they suck, and then I, like, listen to them, I'm like, all right, you know, I get it. Um, well, I sing Sex Twister for donos. How many donos do you want to give me? Because <laughs> you're asking me to sing, like, out in public. Some very offensive words. Tree fifty, uh, three hundred and fifty, or three dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> How about I meet you halfway, and I'll do it for thirty-five dollars and fifty cents. Oh no, no, you know what? Yeah, let's just do it for thirty-five even. That'll make more sense. Thirty-five hundred? Hell yeah! I'll sing Sex Twisters the rest of the stream for that. God, I cross here. I gotta go a little faster. Go a little faster, a little faster. Oh, there we are. I need to tilt this a little. Started in the woods, now I'm out, like, on the town, basically. Yeah, that's a no-effect song. Drugs are good. Drugs are neat, and you can buy them relatively cheap. 
And when you do them, people think that you're cool. Oh God. Want to fuck up. Quit school. Don't work. There's a Starbucks. If I can do it, so could anyone. Oh, here we go. It'll read it. It's just slow to react sometimes. I always thought it was cool how Mariah Carey had a whistle register. And she could like whistle with her singing voice. That was kind of cool. Go this way. Dolphin, is she? <laughs> that bus really kicked up some air. The signal where it tells you it's okay to cross sounds like a tweeting bird. Pew. 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 I never break laws. I'm a sweet boy. We don't break laws. We follow all the laws exactly. Meticulously. Endlessly. Sodas. 
at Cobra's Cantina. At Cobra's Cantina. I gave Wilford Brimley diabetes. Because I'm so sweet. I saw his movie Cocoon. A lot of people know Wilford Brimley from the diabetes commercials and can't even name a lot of the shows he was in. I remember there was a show where he played the grandpa on a sh It was called Our House, I think it was. Wilford Brimley. Yeah. He was in the Cocoon movies, which were very popular in the late 80s. I heard a lot of those... I heard the Cocoon movie is like lost media now. Like it's not streaming anywhere. And they don't play reruns of it anywhere. So like you have to own a hard copy of it to see it. And it's not easy to find. I did watch Our House. Yeah. I watched that show. Wilford Brimley was the grandfather on it. I saw Shannon Doherty at a convention. I can't remember which one it was. But like years ago, I saw Shannon Doherty at some convention. Wasn't she on like Charmed or something? So yeah, I might uh, drop in and out, but I'll be back as long as I can hold it. Yeah, I am a total cusper. I think, I feel like I'm more Gen X. Technically my birth year was the first year of millennial, but I can't really these, these generations should probably be cut in half to more accurately, accurately describe the, uh, the people who are part of those generations, because I definitely think I'm more of a Gen Xer. I didn't have a cell phone until I was already, like, 23, 24 years old. Like, if you wanted to use the internet when I was, like, a young adult, you had to sit at a desk. Mostly. Um, I go this way? Yeah, I could. Oh, yeah. Network and Wi-Fi connections while I'm doing this. Yeah, I used a phone with a dial on it, too. That was my my phone at my parents' house when I was a kid. Had a dial on it. Phone. And you'd, like, all the way back. I just, one of the funnest things about being involved in music is getting to perform it live. What a silly question. Oh, those, those like hotlines that cost like 99 cents for the first minute. Usually it was like a low, it was like 25 cents for the first minute and then $2 for each additional minute.
No, we're not talking about sex hotlines. AOL was an ISP, Internet Explorer was a uh, browser, so there's there's a big difference there. Yeah, yeah, the phone had a long curly wire. It was a retractable wire. Cuz like the curly the curly wire would like take like pick up the slack cuz they would recoil and take away some of their slack. It's not a weird American thing. It's just send. I remember that hotline. That's the He-Man theme song. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, He-Man. How's my signal? Oh, it's pretty good right here. I don't even need Wi-Fi. Fuck this shit. Yes, I remember the callback codes for pay phones. I remember all that shit. G man. You know what? I'm about to just walk this way. Oh no, it's okay. The light has changed. All right. I was getting impatient. We could all use a little more patience these days. <laughs> all right. Interesting. Just saw a restaurant I didn't even know existed over here. Huh. Yeah, I remember car phones. A car phone was a cell phone, but the device was so large, like you couldn't. Well, they also had bag phones where you would carry the wireless device in a in like a satchel bag. But yeah, I remember car phones. It was a cell phone, but you needed to like keep it in your car because it was so big. What's going on with what? Oh, yeah. No, I am not watching the NFL draft. I mean, I don't even know when it's going on. No, I'm not. I'm going to a baseball game coming up here pretty soon. Usually around my birthday every year, I go to a baseball game. I enjoy the like slow paced nature of it and everything. Have some of the stadium junk food and a cheap beer. Well, an expensive cheap beer. <laughs> Cause like in the stadium they can charge whatever they want and you can't leave and come back once you're in. So it's like, if you want, it's, it's the same with concerts, it's the same with like amusement parks. All their shit is like lower quality and overpriced. It is overpriced, low quality beer. The, I mean like, the good beer at a stadium is ridiculous. Like, you get one beer for the cost of, like, a six-pack of what you would normally pay. I love hot dogs and beer. I like uh, burgers and beer, pizza and beer. 
beer is just one of the greatest beverages ever. Uh, they make you go through all this, like, it's almost like airport security. So there's a chance you can get in with it, but if you get caught, then they can, like, ban you from the park forever or whatever. And I, I, it's fine. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could buy drinks at a 7-Eleven outside of the stadium and drink those and then go in. If I was really that concerned with it. I don't think I can stream from within the stadium because too many people are there. And like the more people you have in a single place, the harder it is to stream uh, live because like the more people using one cell tower at one point, the, uh, the less bandwidth there is to go around. So like when you go to a really crowded event, it's hard to live stream there because there's too many people hogging up the bandwidth no no when I visited England I was a total tourist and I didn't play any games or like hang out with a, I, I mean like we, we had a meet up in England like we had a drunken peasants meet up in England back in like 2015 um, so I guess I did hang out with some locals but we went out to a pub and got trashed and and I did a bunch of touristy stuff. You know? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That was my second time in England. I've been to England twice. I've been to Europe three times. Uh, the first two times were like whirlwind tours of most of Western Europe. And then my third time there, I just went to the Netherlands and spent my whole time in the Netherlands. Wait. I've never been to a Rainier's game. I don't really like Tacoma <laughs> that much. Um... Uh, the new Mariner Stadium is so much better than the Kingdom. The Kingdom went down in history as one of the worst pro sports venues ever. They didn't even use it for a full 10, it was either 10 or 20 years. Like most people will build a sports venue and get like, you know, five decades out of it at least. They didn't even get two, I, I, it might have not even have been 10 years. Like the Kingdom was such a failed venue. The, the roof started leaking. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask people to hit subscribe. Please subscribe. You guys have no idea how much walking I've done. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm not walking back where I started, by the way. I'm still moving further and further away. Which means I'm going to have to walk that much further back. I have been to New Orleans once, and it was okay. I'm not really a big fan of the South. No, no offense to you if you're from the South. It's just not my scene. It's just not my thing.
yeah, I've been to South Carolina, didn't really like it. It's just not my thing. Just not my thing. I don't like Kentucky. I don't like West Virginia. I like, and those are states that bordered the state. I, the, the South is a pretty huge region. Like, they consider anywhere south of Ohio the South. You, you might even be able to make an argument that Cincinnati's in the South. Because it's like Appalachia. I've been to West Virginia multiple times. Putting in the miles right now. <laughs> If I go to Chuck E. Cheese right now, Wait. people will call me a sicko. Wait. People will accuse me of sicko shit at the Chuck E. Cheese. Jared said he gives foot rubs at the Chuck E. Cheese. Some U.S. cities are way weirder than the others. There's no Kmart anywhere near here. Oh, you're talking about in North Carolina? Yeah. I do cook out sometimes. I have a big barbecue set up. I have like a outdoor area. I don't watch hentai. I hardly watch anime. I'm the wrong person to ask. I think anime is kind of not entertaining and I don't understand the appeal, but Not to say I've never watched one and Wait. liked it, but I don't get the hype. It's one of those things where, like, the fans of it ruined it for me. I've definitely watched good anime, but I've, I've first of all, I've never been into, like, drawn porn. Even shit that's like photorealism or whatever, it doesn't do it for me. So I don't get the like, I'm gonna watch this Japanese animated porn. I've never gotten that. So. Yeah, a lot of the anime I watched as a kid was from the 70s and 80s, and they were just, like, repurposing it for American TV. Like, I was really into Voltron when I was a kid. Uh, there was a bunch of them I watched, and yeah, it can be good. A lot of it I liked when I was a kid, you know, um, but... I really liked uh, Vampire Hunter D. That was one of my favorite series. And yeah, I watched Akira and Project Aiko and that kind of shit.
<clears throat> He-Man is definitely not anime. You know, they may have made, like, an anime-style He-Man, though. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me. I've seen Ninja Scroll. I don't remember it that well. And, yeah, I watched Orozka Doji and all that shit, and I'm like, why do you guys... Like, I, I had friends that thought, like, oh, my God, giant tentacle penises killing people. And I'm like, why do you like this? I don't get it. Like, it's kind of funny because it's so weird. But oh man, on a mini food tour. I didn't say either was gay or not gay. Actually, anime steals a lot of shit from wrestling, and I'm not surprised because wrestling is very popular in Japan. So, like Dragon Ball Z, the way the story is in Dragon Ball Z is just exactly how they've been making wrestling storylines for the last you know, 70 years. Like, exactly. Like, the way they talk shit to each other and how there's, like, this slow build and cliffhanger after cliffhanger. And then they finally do battle and it's like, oh, well, you haven't... You haven't seen my true final form. You know, like... That shit is, like, straight out of pro wrestling plot lines... All right, give me just a moment here. I gotta do my usual. You guys know, you guys know. Um, all right, so we're gonna shoot for a second. And we're going on mute until I'm done with my thing. God damn it. Uh, I gotta like. I don't wanna get my phone all wet. Let's see. There we go. ¿Qué crees que se va a quedar? 
Can you sign, please? Yes. What can I get for you? Yeah, welcome to Seattle. Why does Jared, I, Jared applies whatever, like Jared is a hardcore coper because Jared has nothing going on in his life and it's hard for him to cope with being such a loser that he has to create this false reality in which his detractors are like hopeless drug addict meth heads. I mean... <laughs> He says I do spice. Like, <laughs> you can, I don't even think you can buy spice out here. I don't know. I've never done it. But actual weed is legal here. So no one would be doing spice. Like, spice was a thing in places where it was illegal. And by the way, it's very bad for you from what I hear. Ugh. Whew, man, I ate some really hot habaneros. I feel like I'm going to do like a fireball burp. Where I just burp like super hard and a fireball comes out. Yeah, Jared is probably... Like, I honestly, there are people that, like, live in tents on the street that probably have it better than him. Jared would not last on the streets. That he can be such a ungrateful, unproductive person and he has like a family that cares about him enough to not just let him rot. Because there are plenty of good people, better people who could have done more with their lives that didn't have that luxury of like a loving family that was willing to take care of them. That's one of the most offensive things about him is that is like he's such a way uh, like aside from the obvious, right? I don't know, I'm not a psychologist.
I'm not going to like me as someone who didn't even graduate from college isn't going to have strong opinions on when mental disorders start. People driving way too fast through this parking lot. It's like, shouldn't be going more than like 10 miles an hour through a parking lot. You know, uh, later on, I'll reveal to everybody how long I walked here, because I don't even know. But I have an app that, like, tracks my steps. So... I walk at a pretty good pace, too. Um, I've never s actually sailed, like as in like in a sailboat before. I've been on like large ships. I've been on a cruise ship. I've been on uh, ferries and that kind of stuff. But I, I've never been on just like a regular wind-powered sailboat. But there's definitely a lot of that that happens here. I've just never done it. Which is weird, because I did grow up near Lake Erie, too, and that's a big sailing place, too. Like, Lake Erie is almost like a mini... It's like a, you know, like an inland sea. But my parents weren't really into that, so I never really did that kind of thing. Know what I mean? Yeah, I did all kinds of sports throughout my youth I wasn't good at most of them like I tried to play baseball I was not good at baseball I played football like American football uh, I was like a smaller kid so I didn't see a lot of time on the field because I was not a big or, or like particularly fast kid um, tried to play basketball I mean, I played a little bit of all these different sports, but I wasn't, like, a star player. I'm, like, I wasn't even, like, a mediocre player most of these sports. I was pretty good at wrestling um, for my size. Like, I, I had some success wrestling because I was, like, a squirmy, lanky kid. And in, uh, in Greco-Roman wrestling, like, reversals and things like that are important. So... Um, I played soccer a couple times, like a, a couple years. I did, uh, like karate for a few years. Well, more like 10 years, but 
I only did a few actual like competition type scenarios with martial arts where I where they were like very controlled. Um, yeah. It's interesting, like, marching band and color guard both kind of have their origin in the military. Like, no, I was not in marching band. I was never in a marching band, no. But it's interesting because, like, you know, American football has its origins in like military like almost like a military simulation and that's how like marching band and color guard kind of followed it I hope I don't get hit all right yeah. oh But yeah, that's why, like, color guard and marching band go hand-in-hand with football, like, at football games. Um, That's where all that comes from. The whole connection there. Some of the earliest incidences of American football were played by, like, War of 1812 and Civil War soldiers. Uh, you don't hear a lot of Scottish pipes in American marching bands. It's like snare drums, bass drums, quads, French horns, tubas, uh, flutes, uh, trumpets, trombones. Um, French horns. The Ohio State University Marching Band is the best marching band pretty much on earth. So we've been going for about two hours and 10 minutes. My battery's getting a little low. I'm going to stream later, but I gotta turn off my phone and charge it a little bit and kind of make my way to a more manageable area. I've been walking a lot today. So I am going to end the stream for a little while and then I'll come back and you guys will probably see but it was a fun time. God, two hours and ten minutes of me just walking and I ate food twice. That's something. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to take a little break. Maybe, uh, you know, stretch my legs out. I'll be back. See you in a few.